Hi, my name is James Shepard with North American Bank Card, and I had a comment uh, from one of my subscribers a few days ago uh, requesting that I post a video about how to get the processing statement. Uh, I have detailed videos about how you can do a price comparison, uh, but if you never get the processing statement from the merchant from their current processor, it's going to be difficult to uh, give them a price comparison. And uh, it's very important you get that statement. So I want to talk real briefly about how to get the statement um, from the merchant when you're in there trying to get the sale. Uh, first of all, you have to understand that the way that I sell is I sell on price. And that's very important when it comes to getting a processing statement. Um, it's very easy to get a processing statement when you sell on price. And I'm going to explain how. When I first meet a merchant, uh, the way that I introduce my business to them is I say, my name is James Shepard. I'm a local business owner in the area. I provide credit card processing services to local businesses. That's the first thing I say. Um, if you are a local business owner, then use that to your advantage. Uh, there's a killer line that I use all the time. If I have somebody that's hesitant to, give, to allow me to give them an estimate, one line that I use all the time is I ask them this question. I say, um, you know, I, I respect that, Tom, that you're not looking to get an estimate right now, but let me ask you a question. Um, are you, do you have a local business owner that's serving your credit card processing needs, or are you still with one of the big companies? And uh, when I say that, uh, they think, man, you know, I am still with one of the big companies and they want to be with a local business owner because local business owners want to do business with other local business owners. So highlight that. Then after I say that opening line, I say, you know what, Tom, let me tell you a little bit about my business. Now, the credit card processing industry, Tom, is basically made up of two uh, parts. Your charges on your statement have to do with two things. There are legitimate costs that you have from Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. Then there's the markup. Uh, that the processor charges. Obviously there's going to be some markup because they have to process your transactions and fund your bank account and that costs money. Um, so your processor is going to charge you some money. Now let me ask you something Tom. You've been doing credit card processing for more than a year I assume, right? Okay. Uh, in the last year Tom, how often have you had a problem with your credit card terminal where someone has had to come out and fix that credit card terminal for you? And usually they'll say something like either you know what, I haven't seen that guy in a year, the guy that set me up. Or they might say maybe once. And then I'll say something like this. I'll say, you know, Tom, it's not uncommon for me to see a statement from a merchant where the current processor is marking them up $100, $200, even $300 a month uh, for their credit card processing. Now, I don't know about you, Tom, but to me, um, it just seems like in our business, with the amount of effort it takes to keep a client happy, I don't really think you should have to pay two or $300 a month, do you? And he's going to say, no, of course not. And I say, Tom, that's really the main difference between my business and my competitors. They're trying to make 100 to $200 off of each one of their clients each month, but they don't have very many clients, Tom. What I'm looking to do is grow a large client base, and I might only make 15 to 20 maybe $30 at the most on a client each month. So my processing markup is a lot lower, and I'm still able to cover all the processing expenses, provide you with excellent service, but I just don't charge you more than what I believe it's really worth. I think my services, Tom, for a location like yours are worth $20 or $30 a month because we have to do all the processing for you. I guarantee the machine. I'll even give you a free machine if your machine breaks down. So I do provide a great service, Tom, but I don't mark up my services as much as my competitors. Now, when you do it that way, when you present it to them, and you can change that to, to fit your style, but that's going to allow them their business sense to kick in, and they're going to understand what you're talking about. There's cost, and there's markup. They understand that in their own business. If they're a retailer, they have cost, and they have markup. They don't resent markup, but they also wouldn't sell a pack of gum for 20 bucks. And so you are trying to conjure up this image in their mind that the person they're currently with is marking a pack of gum up to 20 bucks. That's what you want them to feel like. Um, and so what that does is that sets the stage for them to realize that the main thing you sell on is price. So because of that, when you get to the point where you need to look at the statement, I uh, would say something like this. Uh, Tom, you know what? Uh, I'd love to go and give you an estimate. I'll take a look at your statement. Um, you know, We'll see if uh, I can save you some money. My guess is I probably can, um, but at least that way you'll know how much money I could save you each month. Now, uh, do you have a credit card processing statement here, or should I stop back by later in the week? Now, that's how I ask. Now, I know what a lot of people will say. They'll say, oh, if you do that, you're giving them an out to put you off and to have you come back later on. Well, I have a totally different theory about that. Um, I close extremely high. I, um, I usually close about 60 to 70% of the people that I uh, meet. If I meet a business owner, I close 60 to 70% of them. Not that day. I just close them. I just closed a sale uh, three days ago. Um, they have 11 locations. I'm going to make 3300 up front on that sale. 
and that sale I've been working on it for over a year um, so I'm not afraid to do that now what I the reason I say that is because I know I'm not going to get a no I never ever have somebody tell me oh I don't want you to look at my processing statement they never say that because I don't give them a chance to say that what I say is do you have a processing statement here I could take a look at or should I stop back by later in the week that's going to give me one of two possible responses. They're either going to say, oh yeah, sure, I've got one right here, and they hand it to me. And honestly, if they have a processing statement there, I think about 90% of the time they actually want me to give them an estimate because I've already presented a picture to them in their mind that I'm going to save them some money, and they want to give me a processing statement so I can take a look at it. And also, I'm not asking in a way of, would you like me to give you an estimate? Don't ask that. If you say, would you like me to give you an estimate, they're going to say, no, most likely. Um, because you're giving them a chance to say no, don't do that. Just say, do you have a processing statement here I can take a look at or should I stop back by later in the week? Either way, you're going to get a chance to look at their processing statement. So that's how I get processing statements. I hope that was a help to you. Um, now, I have one last pitch before I let you go. Um, if you have not talked to me yet, haven't sent me an email or given me a call or sent me a YouTube message about credit card processing, Take a minute to do that. Um, you can uh, go to www.multi-merchant.com backslash sales underscore agent. Or if you don't want to type all that out, you can just uh, email me, james at multi-merchant.com. Or give me a call, 814-515-9526. I will be happy to help you get your start in credit card processing. If you're already doing credit card processing, I would love to speak with you. Uh, North American Bank Card most likely can also beat the rates of the company you're with and can uh, maybe give you a little bit better revenue split, um, give you some better options to deal with larger clients and um, be able to get them a little bit better deal and also to make you a little bit more residual, a little bit more uh, upfront bonus. So give me a call sometime and I would love to chat with you about that. Thanks again for your time today. Hope you have a great day.